Fender's Everett Guitar number 601. I'm happy to show it to you. Uh, it's a cedar top. It's a very old cedar top. I've had it sitting in my shop for about 20 years. So uh, I imagine it's, it was milled about 22, 23 years ago. Um, it has a Babinga rosette, Babinga trim on the sides of the figured Zircote fingerboard. Um, it's my L body, which is 15 and a half inches across the lower bout. It has a Macassar ebony bridge and a Brazilian rosewood bridge pins with abalone dots. Um, this one has a sound port. Let's see if we can get a good look at the sound port. And there it is. And the sound port is also trimmed in uh, Babinga. Babinga end pin. Oh, I'm sorry. Nope. Uh, Indian rosewood end pin, Indian rosewood back and sides. I really like the Indian rosewood, especially the stripy stuff. Uh, has more of a Cambodian kind of a rosewood look to it, or you know, I guess you'd say an Asian rosewood. Um, it has an African mahogany neck with a figured uh, maple stripe down the middle of the back. It has my uh, style one peg head with the Everett E uh, relief. Um, uh, Godo 510 tuners with the ebony buttons. Uh, <laughs> that's it. That sums up hours and hours of work. It has a mini arm bevel and it has uh, the ebony binding. But what it really has is a lot of fun in it to play. This thing is, sounds like a big body guitar, but it's not. It's a grand concert shape. It's what I call my L body. It's not a cannon. It has a lot more personality than a cannon. There's a lot more than just a big boom. There's just a whole lot flowing out of this box. It's fun to play. Nice fast neck. One and three quarters at the nut. Two and a quarter at the bridge. Low action. Uh, right now I have medium strings on it to help uh, accelerate the settling in, but normally I would play with uh, light gauge strings. So there it is. I'm happy to show you number 601. I hope you get a chance to check it out.